this is Luca from Twitch community again with an update on the Web3 and Travel conference. So today I'm going to present to you the speakers we have so far. There's going to be more in the following weeks. And so we start with Cynthia Huang from D-Travel. D-Travel is a company which is doing um, direct bookings software. They are empowering your website to get direct bookings uh, with cryptocurrencies and not based on smart contracts. Um, it's going to be very interesting to, to listen to their last updates in May. So we are all very happy that Cynthia, Cynthia is on board. Actually, she's also on board on the web chain travel DAO, this uh, association, organization, DAO, we are creating to manage this and future conferences. And she's already been very helpful, giving us interesting insights and connections. Then we have the OG himself. You know, OG in crypto is uh, the original gangster, uh, meaning somebody who's been in the space for a long time. And Maxim Ismailov has been in the space for a long time, since at least 2017 with Winding Tree. They went through uh, several evo evolutions, I would say, and Maxim will present us a general view on the uh, decentralizations aspects of this industry. Maxim is a strong believer in decentralization. And this is a kind of a weird moment for this industry because we are kind of realizing that if you want to do it really decentralized, it's, it's hard. Uh, we may have to compromise for a while, at least until wallets get better, uh, easier, uh, more secure, etc. Um, but there's dangers into that. There, there's big dangers, and I'm sure Maxim will will give us uh, his view about that, and we better listen to him. Then we have Pablo Castillo. Pablo Castillo is the CTO uh, of Chain for Travel. You may have heard Chain for Travel. They came in uh, pretty heavily in this space last year. Chain for Travel is creating the Camino blockchain. The Camino blockchain is a travel only blockchain. So this is something really new. Uh, I would say this is something really new in crypto in general. There's not many yet up, I think you can call them up chains. I'm not really sure if this is the right term, but chains which are specific for a vertical. Up chains are specific for an app. It's kind of like if you have an app and you don't want to share your resources with other apps, you have your own chain. Uh, this one is different. This is a blockchain only for the travel industry. So they are onboarding, let's say, Web2 travel companies into the Web3 space. So a very important work. And we're going to listen to, to Pablo. He's going to tell us what are the, the last news in, uh, in May, I was, um, I was meeting, I met Pablo a few weeks ago in Greece when they presented uh, Camino. So we met in real life and uh, I'm looking forward to see him again in, uh, in Barcelona on the 15th of May. Then we have Matt Harris-Snape. Uh, Matt is a guy from UK. Um, together with Josh, they are launching Trient or Trend. Um, I asked them last time how you pronounce it. It's trend, even if it's written T-R-I-E-N-D. And what they're doing is basically, I keep it simple here, a way to have better reviews on chain. Uh, kind of solving the problem we have in TripAdvisor and other systems where there's many fake reviews. So leveraging blockchain technology, AI, and you know a whole mix of other technologies, they aim to solve this problem. They were speakers in Porto at our first conference. That was actually funny because they just came as um, attendees. And then when we were talking, I, I realized that they could actually make a speech. Um, I had actually planned a specific like flexibility in, uh, in, the, um, in, the, in the program. So there was space for them and they presented. So they're going to present again. Uh, this year, they have gone ahead, of course, since last September. They're launching actually on the Camino uh, blockchain. So we'll listen to what Matt has to say. Then we have also another newcomer, Shaina Shivarsky. She's from the United States um, and 
she launched with her co-founder uh, an app, I would say a Web2 app looking at Web3, travel related. So it's Legends. It's an app where when you travel, you can take pictures and share them. So it's a social network, basically. And their uh, Web3 involvement is uh, an upcoming NFT, which contains all your travel history. So it's kind of a, maybe I could say a curriculum of your travel history, which you can share with other people, etc. And uh, this NFT is, uh, uh, also has a visual representation, dynamic, it's changing as you travel, as you see more places, the NFT itself changes. So I would say a very interesting use case. Then we have Michele Mick Rubel. Michele um, is a person we worked with in um, Alpitour when we launched together the first NFT booking in the world in a hotel. We did one before with a villa, that's the first NFT booking ever. And this one was the first hotel NFT booking. Now he works at Peakwork and uh, I will tell you exactly what they, they, they claim, that their claim is. Um, they're developing a platform to enrich traveler experience and eventually re-implement entire segments of the travel supply chain. That's what I know, so I'm curious to listen to Michele what he's, he's uh, actually working on. And uh, I can infer from that that basically they're trying to solve the old travel industry problem of fragmentation, I suppose. We'll see what he says. Then we have Antonio Picozzi. Antonio was there also last year in Porto from Tachion. Tachion is a startup from Italy which is implementing NFT bookings. What they're doing is basically, well, something very smart, which is don't bother people with wallets. Uh, don't make it difficult, make it as easy as possible for them. And for you as a guest, what happens when you interact with Tachion is that you go on a hotel website, you see a booking, uh, a rate which is uh, refundable, and then usually you see a non-refundable rate, right? Something which is cheaper, but you can't cancel it, so you're actually getting the risk of, uh, of not being able to go to the hotel. They are working with hotels and proposing them to basically replace the non-refundable rate with a resellable rate, basically meaning you buy this night or nights, you can't get the money back from the hotel, you cannot cancel, you won't get any refund, but you can resell it. So there's a secondary marketplace where you can sell your NFT representing the nights um, to other people. Now, you don't really have to interact with the NFT, everything is done behind the scenes, the NFT are actually minted on the Polygon chain, but unless you are one of the few Web3 you know, again, OGs, uh, you can still do that. So this basically opens the market to the other 95% of the world. And uh, they're getting bookings, they're getting results, which is kind of something new for the Web3 travel industry. So it's very good to see that something is starting to move. We are maybe finding in this industry the, the sweet spot for the product market fit, at least in this historical moment. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see what, what Antonio tells us. I'm sure there's even more news uh, from from since, since today uh, until May. Um, this is all for now. We have a few more candidates. In the Web3 in Travel DAO, we decide together, basically when we meet on Wednesday, we, we see who applied and, and we decide whether it's a good fit for the conference or not. So stay tuned, there's gonna be, there's gonna be more. And, uh, and well, again, if you want to be involved, this is a DAO, you can apply to be part of the DAO. We are a bit slow in answering. Uh, you can help us before the conference, you can help us at the conference, or you can help us even after the conference and you get to be part of this DAO. I won't get too much into detail, but we're open. So welcome in any shape or form you want to be part of this, we're here. And see you in Barcelona.